Kavum, Kanda Kuchia, Bog Naya, Kerokja, Ivendara, Hero Brai. I am Victor. I was 32 at the time, and my son was 9 years of age. Given to reason, and not fallen to folly, I am able to relate my tale as it occurred to me, and as my son and I returned with luck of time. Everything we had experienced thus far gives great tribute to our welfare and our strength as they were hard trials, especially that of the death of my wife giving birth to our son nothing here before even come close in relation to what was about to happen. Kyle? Where are you? <gasps> Kyle, where are you? No, my only son, Kyle. Kyle! Oh, 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 oh. Dad, what is it? Oh, dear me. Nothing. That was another one of your dreams, wasn't it, Dad? <sighs> yes, Kyle, it was. Why won't you tell me what you see? It doesn't matter now. It's only a dream. But a dream of such often reoccurrence? It seems like a sign. There is no sign, nor is there meaning. It only happens by chance, and magic isn't real. Very well, Dad. Look out now. The sun is now rising. Come on, son. Time to get the day a-going.
Fine work, son. Fine work. You did a good job. Well worth the work today. Thanks, Dad. Dad? Yes, son? Are we going to live here forever? No, I suppose not. Maybe a good long while. Maybe someday, though, we will move away. I'm curious. Why should that be? It's all about money, really. My online business allows me to live wherever I want. But even my online businesses could someday have problems. If that happens, we'd have to move somewhere else so I could find work. Maybe even the city. Oh, I see, Dad. Yes, the big city. I really hope that doesn't happen. I like it out here so far, though. Friends, yes? I love you, Dad, but I never see any kids. And Professor Eingalant is hardly a substitute for my age. After all, he's ancient. <laughs> he's not ancient, just elderly. I'd say in his early 80s. But he's a good man. I didn't think you had hostilities toward him. Oh, no, Dad, I don't, really. I, I don't. I like him, too. He's great, kind, and even offers me cookies whenever we go to visit him. He's like the grandfather I never had. <laughs> True, son. <sighs> if only you had a chance to know your grandfather. He was a great man. He died of a heart attack when he was only 62. Poor soul. It sure is strange. Yes, I'd like to have met him. There's a lot of people I'd like to have met. Do not worry yourself too far down, son. Better to stick to lively thoughts. See here now, it's a beautiful day, and there's much to do. Why don't you go and play a while while I go to work on the computer? Swell, Dad. Okay, smell you later. Not again. These customers think they own everything. They think they're so entitled. Oh, well. Customers always right. Though I don't agree with it myself. Oh, I'm going to catch you, fish. Wait here. I'm going back for my fishing rod. Oh, excuse me, sir, uh, Professor Eingeland. My, good day, little Kyle. I see you're up and about, what? Yes, I'm going to go fishing. I came back for my rod. That's good. Say, is your father at home? Yes, he is. Fine. On your way in, could you let him know I'm here? Sure. Dad, Professor Eingalant is here. Oh, thank you, son. One moment, and I will meet him outside. Dad's coming! Oh my, if only he had that amount of energy still.
Professor Angolan, so good to see you. Won't you come in? Thank you. But outside shall do nicely, shan't it? It's a beautiful day. Very well. Come, let's go sit out under the trees. So, Professor, what brings you along? Is this an official call or a social visit? Let us call it social for now, though perhaps later it shall be more official, if I may say so. <laughs> Seems ominous. Ha, <laughs> of course. Well, I mostly came to check and see how you have been lately, especially since that windstorm came in last week and the rain last night. Nothing to report, in reality, and, well, nothing to say, for so being wrong. If I may say that as well. You may. Very well. Good to hear. Seriously, Professor, I've hardly known you to come visit at this hour without more to discuss. Is something the matter? No, uh, of course not. Why do you say that? As I said, this is ominous. Are you sure you don't have something else to say to me? Do not pry too deeply now, Victor. Even us old men have our secrets, even if they're not worth mentioning. Trust me, there is nothing for me to mention to you now. Only as such, and as I have more, do not find it necessary to say more. No, do not worry too much, Victor. If you are thinking I'm in trouble, in pain, or moving away, think no more of it. Nothing of the sort is wrong. If I have more to say to you, then I shall. Indeed, Professor. Didn't mean to pry. <laughs> like I said, do not worry. I am not offended. But now, how is Kyle, your son, doing? He is good also. He's been very busy and plays a lot in the nature around about close to our house. He also likes to explore, but he seems to be getting a little lonely. He seems to express interest in meeting more people. That is wonderful. Maybe he should meet more people indeed. Since you have brought it up, and it is in my mind, why not let him come join me, both of you that is, in a little get-together I am having. I have some friends coming from out of town, uh, and some colleagues. That would be great. More people should be good for him. He needs the social interactions. What kind of people will there be? It's just a few, but I believe one of them has a little girl about his age. That's fine. Count us in, then. When shall you have it? Day after tomorrow, at 6 o'clock p.m. I'll put it on my calendar. Good. Well, now. So you say Kyle likes to explore a lot around here? Yes, he does. Of course. I think I always knew that. He's perused near my property once or twice. And I saw him through the window. He seems quite adventurous. Well, now, um, per perhaps he shouldn't go wandering off too far for now. No? Why? Nothing, really. I just, I just have reason to say maybe he should play closer to home for now. Gosh, ominous again, eh? Very well. For now he shall. And I shan't pry on this reason, either. You learn fast, Victor. All is good. Well, now. I think I'm remembering other things I must do today. I shall be off. Thanks for the visit, Professor. You're always welcome. Indeed, I am glad. I shall see myself off the property. No need to help me. I know the way by now. Yes, you're the fish I want. Perfect! <laughs> I finally got you! Oh my, you're such a big fish! Dad will love to see you! Dad! 
Dad! Dad! Look at the fish I caught! My goodness, son. That is indeed a big fish. Where did you catch it? Just at a pond nearby the house. My lands. Well, there. Quite a fish indeed. Dad, I was looking around all about. Then I found that pond. Never seen it before. And I saw great big fins and a tail. And went to catch it with my hands, but I fell in. So I followed the fish into this great big tunnel. And aside, I saw two big red eyes staring back at me. So then I wrestled with a fish. And the duel forever happened. And finally, I caught me that mean old fish. And I brought him out. And that's how I caught it. Wow. <laughs> quite a story there, Kyle. I'm quite impressed. Well done. Yeah, well, I'm going to put my fish in the fridge. Maybe we can have it for dinner. Yes, that's a fantastic idea, Kyle. Let's do it. My, Kyle's fish store is sure to keep getting bigger. Okay, Kyle, time to cook up the fish. Oh, before I forget, Kyle, uh, the professor asked if we wanted to go to a party day after tomorrow at his place. Party? Will it be fun? For you, maybe not particularly, but there will be someone there your age. Really? Oh my gosh, that's awesome! A new friend? I'll definitely go. Him and I will have so much fun. Well, you see, it's not a boy. It's a girl. A girl? You want me to play with a girl? Well, yes, it should be- But Dad, I've never played with a girl before. What will I do? Just be kind and respectful, and you'll have plenty to talk about, I'm sure. Okay, fine, I guess. <laughs> Hey, Dad, what about a movie now? Why not? I'm done with work. A swell! <laughs> Let's watch this one, Dad. <laughs> the greater sizes of the Inner Sphere armies gave them greater advantage in coverage and time for resource allocation and retrieval in the Inner Sphere as some clan mechs were destroyed in such a way that the inner sphere was able to recover them and restore them sufficiently. Those lucky enough would gain access to the new clan tech.
fuel is good enough for recovery. assigned to combat on the front lines in retaliation to the clan invasion. However, the numbers will remain few as salvaging the destroyed clan mechs were difficult and the replication of the technology proved nearly impossible for the time being, much like the lost tech of old. See you in the morning, Dad.
Kyle, I have much work to do today, so I won't be able to help out with the chores. Would you mind doing as much as you can? Once it is 10 o'clock, you can go and play. Well, okay, Dad. Yes, 10 o'clock, playtime! Woohoo! Oh, this is fun! Little guy, how'd you get here? Come on now, I won't hurt you. You're such a cute fellow. Now wait, come back! Oh. No! So that's why you're alone. Your mother is dead. Poor thing. I'm so sorry. But I can't leave you here. You will die. I know. I'll take you home with me. Dad, look what I found! A wolf pup. Kyle, we can't keep a wolf pup. But Dad, he's alone, and he... Kyle, wolves are dangerous, especially since this one's mother will come looking for it. It's too dangerous. But Dad, it doesn't have a mother anymore. I saw her dead. Something killed her. I see. Oh, poor thing. Well, it, it does look hungry. Maybe we can give it some raw meat. I'll get it, Dad. Here you go. Poor guy. He's so hungry. Can we keep him? No, that's out of the question. We can't keep him, even if he doesn't have a mother. Maybe the professor would have an idea of what to do. Perhaps some wild service could take over. But Dad, I love this dog already. No buts about it, Kyle. We can't keep it. Well, you can for today and tomorrow only. We will ask the professor if you'll take the pup wolf off our hands. Well, all right. At least I'll have a pet for a day. Come on, pup. Wow, that pup follows him already. Such a quick bond. Okay, go fetch. Go fetch. 
Come on, you can go get it. See, like me here. There, see how it's done? Oh, I'll get you to understand it later. What? What was that? See something, little pup? Nothing here. Oh, hey! I found charcoal! Is that what you're barking at? Charcoal? Ah, maybe not. Charcoal doesn't move. Hey, Charcoal! That's a great name! Hey, I'll call you Charcoal! Okay with that, Charcoal? <coughs> great! Come on, Charcoal! Let's go play somewhere else. Here, boy. You and that pup sure seem like good friends. Yeah, he's basically a dog. I'll just call him a dog from here on out. Maybe people will believe he's a husky. I already told you, Kyle. He can't keep that wolf pup. He's going to the professor's. Dad, why can't we keep him? He's the first best friend i found. Enough of that now. No more talk about the wolf pup. My mind is made up. Okay, Dad. Movie tonight? No. I'd rather play with Charcoal. Charcoal? That's his new name I gave him. I see. Already a name. The sooner we get rid of that pup, the better. Come on, Kyle. Let's not be late. Dad, I feel so foolish. Nonsense. Let's go. Leave the pup here for now. We will probably come back for it later tonight.
Victor, Kyle, Rilko, come in. Everybody, I'd like for you to meet Victor and his son Kyle. They are my closest and best neighbors. Welcome, sir. So glad to have you. Thanks. We're glad to be here. Kyle, go talk to her. Uh, hi there, uh, girl. <laughs> okay, everyone. Get your snacks and have a good time. Professor, uh, Mr. Eingallant, that is, you seem strange tonight. Do I? Oh, so sorry. I don't mean to. Please, sir, tell me. What is it? I can tell if something is the matter. Oh, very well. Perhaps I shall let you in. I've been doing a lot of nature studies as of late, and some of which have taken me to the jungle border nearby. I have been studying the isotropes of the plant follicles and green barrel acids. All matter normalized and all energies accounted for, somehow they have changed in their structure. Changed in their structure? I don't understand. I don't mean for you to. Mostly a thing for us scientists and explorers. Anyway, what's most unusual is the manner in which they have changed. Trust me when I say, I know what I'm talking about. I've studied these things for years. Yet, they have never acted this way. And never before should they have acted. And I mean, ever. Huh. Interesting. I've removed some of the specimens and brought them here for further analysis. The findings are quite shocking. Oh? Taking their properties and restructuring them under my microscope. I then have introduced them to different stressors to see how they would react. I expected little to no variation, but then when introduced to a certain particle, they changed remarkably. Changed? Curious. What would that indicate? Well, first, let me tell you about that particle. Victor, it was the Remark Ab particle. Remark M? What? I've never heard of it. It's new to science, but we believe it has something to do with space connects and hole exertions. Hole exertions? Space connects? It. Sir, are you saying wormholes? Like in space? Nearly, but not quite. Okay, a portal then. Exactly! Oh, come on, Professor. There's no such thing. I think you've gone too far into this now. Maybe you should take a vacation. This is nothing to joke about, nor laugh at, and I don't need a vacation. I'm quite serious, and I'm not the only one who knows about this particle connections. This is serious business, and I aim to investigate it further. You may, but you ought not to. I don't quite understand everything you're up to, but take it from me. I wouldn't mess with that stuff if I were you. Give it up, and stay here. You seem most set on stopping me from this. Oh no, I can't stop you. I just think it may not be good for you. Promise me you won't investigate this. But I can't. I... Promise. Uh, oh. Okay. For now, I promise. Good. You will see I am right. Trust me.
Hey, this drink is good. Oh, I almost forgot, Professor. Just the other day, my son found a wolf pup. The mother was dead. We don't know what to do with the pup. I was wondering, could you take it off my hands? Maybe give it to the wildlife services? Wolf pup, you say? Yes. Hmm. Keep it. Keep it what? I, uh, never thought I'd ever hear you say that. You're always so environment and wildlife prep crazy. Don't you think it should go to wildlife services? Certain necessities will make me... Uh, never mind. I just think you may prefer to have it. Keep the wolf pup. Just keep it. Um, okay. If that's what you think is best. Well, Kyle will be thrilled anyway. But I don't like the idea of caring for a wolf. They're wild animals, you know. Just think of it as a rusty husky. That's what Kyle said. Very good. All business is settled. I suppose. It's much nicer out here. Not so many grown-ups. Well... I'm not good at talking to girls. Um... <laughs> oh, I'll never do this right. Well, fine night. Uh, I'm going inside again. Let's get snacks. Thanks, Professor, for inviting us. And the food is very good. So glad you liked it. Thank you for coming. Of course. But now, uh, don't do anything with that uh, particle study stuff, remember? Very well. Good night, Professor. Well, quite a party, Kyle. Yes, and I'm tired. How was talking to Jessica? We basically never talked. I was too shy. Understandable. I understand. I'm glad you at least tried. Hi, Charcoal. Oh, good dog. If only... Oh, I'll miss you. Kyle, some plans have changed with the pup. They did? Yes. I had a talk with the professor. He said, well, he said for now we should keep it. He did? Oh, Dad, thank you. Charcoal, you're my pet. We're going to be best friends now. Dad, I'm so excited. Well, I'm glad enough of that now. But we still need to remember he's a wild animal. I want him outside most of the time. And when he's grown up, I want him outside all of the time. Okay, Dad. Whee! We're going to have so much fun. But <laughs> now I'm tired. Yes, come. Let's go to bed.
Kyle, will you go feed the chickens? Yes, Pop. Chickens, they're all dead! What? All dead? How can... That pup, he must have done it! But Dad, he was with me all night and this morning! He couldn't have! Maybe, but I'm not so sure. He could have snuck out while we were sleeping. But the doors were closed. Wolves are quite resourceful. We're putting him in an escape-proof kennel tonight. We still have Sherry, our sheep, we could get to. I'm a little busy today, but tomorrow I'm going to the professor's. If he can't take the wildlife, maybe I will. Or we will have to kill it. Kill charcoal? No! We can't have a wolf killing our livestock. Ugh. Now we will have to buy more chickens. Okay, you are here for tonight, and there is no escape. There shouldn't be any problem. Well, you're still here, Charcoal, and untampered. Good to know you can't get out. Dad! Dad! Something's happened to Sherry! It's terrible. Something has ripped the sheep in half. Sherry is dead. Dad! Charcoal couldn't have done it! I know, I know. Something else has come here. But, ripped in half? The other half remaining? I've never heard of any animal doing something like this. Maybe someone with a sick sense of humor. But also, those chickens. Dad, I'm frightened. Don't be. What are we going to do? We... Yes, the professor. He should know what to do. Come, let's get a quick snack to tide us over. We're going to the professor's right now. And Charcoal? Let him tag along. Though young, he's still a wolf.
Professor, are you here? Let's read it. He's gone to study the jungle border area. What does that mean? It's too complicated to explain entirely. Oh, that foolish professor? Something to do with plants and energies near the jungle he's been studying. He seems to think it has something to do with portals. Portals? The professor believes in portals? Like I said, it's too complicated. But he's crazy. We need to go get him and bring him back for his own good. Then maybe we can get him more interested in our problem. Let's grab a few things from here. I'm sure the professor wouldn't mind. Then let's go home and get more things. Woohoo! We're going on an adventure! Don't forget water. Let's be off. I'm sure glad Charcoal could come with us. Me too. I think I'm actually starting to like him. He's been super obedient lately. Dad, how far into the jungle? It's half a day's hike further. We'll reach it by midday tomorrow. Good. Oh, am I tired? You should go to bed. I'll stay up a little while more. Okay. Good night.
Yes. Just didn't sleep too well last night. Anything wrong? No, no. Everything is all right. Okay, well, let's eat breakfast. Then pack up and go. This is a pretty cool place. It's beautiful. The jungle! Here it is! Professor! gone. But the stuff looks so recently used. Maybe we'll be back soon. Let's wait here. Dad, where is he? I don't know. He should have been here by now. He always comes back from the field studies before night. Have you been with him on field studies before? Yes, a few times before you were born. But it's been a while lately. Why? Well, it's not anything I like much to talk about. Can't you tell me? <sighs> I suppose. Well, you see, we, we had great times in the field. And most of the time, he went without me. But sometimes I went with him. I enjoyed studying with him, but mostly I enjoyed the outdoors. Then, well, your mother came once. We had such a great time, probably one of the greatest times of my life. Well, then you came. You were born, and your mother died. And well, I just haven't been able to go back ever since. The memories are too deep and too sensitive. And since then, I needed to stay back and take care of you. But I grew up. I know, but it's still too emotional. Maybe someday, you, Dad, will remember that Mom enjoyed it. And we will go again, you and me, to the field studies. <laughs> Oh.
I love you, son. Dad, what was that? I don't know. Keep still. <laughs> Kyle, hide in the tent. Kyle, get up. Run! Don't stop. Keep going. Dad, I can't go any further. Must keep going. Wait. A light? Hello? Nobody home. This is an emergency. Let's go in.
Dad? Was that a dream? No dream, son. Not a dream. What was that? I don't know. I have no idea who it was. Who? I saw it, uh, or he, only for a moment. But it was no animal. It was some human. But its eyes, they're a void of pupils. They were just a terrible blank white, and they glowed. That's so terrible, Dad. So terrible. Yes, I know. Is that, or he, who killed our chickens and Sherry our sheep? Maybe. It would seem like the most likely answer. Dad, what are those strange stone formations? I have no idea. I've never seen anything like them before. I don't think... Well, somehow, I don't think they're normally part of the jungle. This all seems just so strange to me. Not normally part? Something put them there? I don't know. Or somehow, well... Uh, maybe... Dad? Remember that portal stuff I told you the professor talked about? Yes. I wonder if that has something to do with it. I don't doubt him on the changing energies or stuff he was talking about, but the portal stuff seems absurd. However, he did mention them being more like wormholes. Many scientists believe wormholes to be possible. I don't see how that could be possible in so small a space. But for now, let's assume it really could happen. That would mean that the energies indeed had something to do with a wormhole portal or something, and then somehow it would be here nearby, if true. With that in consideration, that could also mean that it is connected to these strange stone formations. Maybe something came here, or maybe we're closer to the portal, and these things just start to spawn naturally, in a most seemingly unnatural way. Gosh, Dad. I mean, just, wow. Does that mean this house is from them? Oh dear. Son, maybe, just maybe. Dad, I'm scared to stay here. Don't be afraid. Let's not panic. I think now would be a good time for me to go look around and explore, but close by. What are you thinking about? Finding a way home? Yes, also for food. We left most of it back at the camp. I think it's too dangerous to go back there. Here, have Charcoal stay with you. Sort of like a guard dog. I'll go explore and hopefully find food. I'll be back shortly.
Fresh meat ought to help. This is an unusual cave. I wonder if I can find water in it. Yes, there is water. Thank goodness. Wait, what is that? A structure? This is so strange. A key? But to what? What is that? Dad, you're back! Dad? You look pale. I'm fine. Dad, you make me frightened. What happened? Oh, very well. I'll tell you. I killed a deer in the jungle. Though it beats me how a deer could be in the jungle. Well, then I found a cave and got some water out of it. But in the cave, I found this terrible monster. 
It was red and pink with big horns and big teeth. The legs were long and the arms were short and it made such a terrible sound. It was a monster as such I have never seen before. I'm certain that no such thing exists on our world. Oh, Dad, the portal does exist. Perhaps it does indeed. <sighs> and also, there was a chest in the cave in some deep abandoned structure. I found a key inside. A key? To what? Let me see. This is it. I don't know what it goes to, but I'm keeping it for now. What now, Dad? I think... But, yeah, let's cook up this meat. I'll dry it extra so it will last longer. I have water, too. I think we should head north a little bit, as soon as we can. Then cut east and try to make it back out of the jungle. It should keep us away from that awful campsite. This problem is becoming too big for us. We get out and go for the closest town. We need to get true authorities on this and let them take care of it. And our house? We won't be going home. It's too dangerous. Okay. Let's go. Got it! Dad, it's so horrible! I know, but pay no mind to it. We're seeing a lot of strange things now. Let's keep going.
This is interesting. A thunderstorm so fast? How can it be? <laughs> found you now. You cannot escape me. No! Stay away! Is that you? But Kyle! Kyle? Kyle! Where are you? Kyle! Kyle? Kyle! No. Where is Kyle? No. No! No! This can't be happening. Now, Kyle. No, please. Not Kyle. Not my only son. Dear me, please help me. Please give me back my son. <laughs> no. No. I can't lose him. And I won't. I will find him. I must find Kyle. Charcoal? Come. We're going to find Kyle.
is so strange. Charcoal, there it goes. Let's follow it for a bit. Lost it. A path. Let's go this way, Charcoal. Maybe this key was for something after all.
These look like dungeon stairs. you. Dad, I'm so glad to see you. And Charcoal too. I was so scared. How did you find me? Just luck, I guess. I found the path in the jungle that came here. Kyle, what do you remember? I was taken off by that terrible person. I couldn't see you. And he flew up. And he had me. He was angry then said something about him being a hero. Then I blacked out. I woke up here, I think six hours ago, and I've been so scared ever since. Dad, I'm thirsty. Here's some food and water. Eat and drink fast. We need to get you out of here. Dad? You still have that key? Oh yes, and I tried it. It opened the door to this castle. Castle? We're in a castle? Yes, we are. Dad, are there more jail cells here? Yes, let me investigate them. You stay here. Oh no! Professor? Dead. So, this is the fate of the Professor. Farewell then, my forever long friend. Dad, what is it? Don't come and look. Dad? It's the Professor. He's... dead. Dad, no! <laughs> Come, let's not look. It wouldn't do no good. That person, he probably would kill me too. That terrible monster person. Yes, and now we should go before something. <laughs> Go upstairs, son. He can't get up. He's too big. Dad, I... Shh. Let's be quiet. We need to find a way out.
the portal. <laughs> So, you have escaped my little dungeon. <laughs> Fool, I knew you would come for your son. That's why I didn't care to look for you. And now, I have you. And you shall die a terrible, painful death. But what? Who are you? <laughs> I am Hero Brian. <laughs> I have finally come after centuries of building up my power to finally gain my portal. It took 1,000 years, but it is complete. And now, I have my pathway to reign with horror and destroy everyone on your Earth. I shall make the war of wars, and my minions and monsters shall reign in horror also, and feast on the flesh of your humans. This cannot be. This simply cannot be. There is nothing you can do now. It is too late. Charcoal, stop! No! Kyle! Foolish child. He will not survive long in my dimension. You don't frighten me. Take this! Ugh. It barely hurts me. It- ah! Kyle? Kyle, where are you? Over here, Dad. Kyle, come back. You must escape back to the portal. By Herobrine, the monsters. You must make a break for it. There is no more alternative. Hey, this looks like the portal. I wonder. <laughs> I shall no longer wait. It is time. No! Dad! Charcoal! No! Get away, you stupid dog! How, how could you? Stupid wolf! Gain my power, stupid wolf dog! Kyle, let's get out of here! But Dad, Charcoal! It's too late! Let's get out of here! I don't know how, but we must destroy the portal somehow. Wait, I just remembered. There were notes lying by the professor. I, I picked them up. What do they say? Hold on. I found the source of everything, indeed a portal, and the author a new constructor, a terrible being from another dimension. He calls himself Herobrine. I have found that the portal takes 1,000 years to construct. If destroyed, it would be another thousand years before he can make another one. I can't get to it, but I collected some particles and am studying them in my cell. I think I found the key. It seems weak to water. Water! The water bottles! <laughs> there, stupid darn wolf pup. Now, I'm coming back to the portal, you foolish humans! Charcoal! Kyle, get back! The monsters, the portal, they're gone. Yes, they are. And now Hero Brian can no longer bother us. He'll have to wait another thousand years. <laughs> Charcoal, the professor, there. Yes, 
I am sorry, but they gave their last to save us and mankind. I too will be so sorry to no longer have the professor as a neighbor. I shall surely miss him. We finally made it back to our house. All monsters and energies associated with the portal disappeared. I made contact with Professor Eingallant's colleagues. They made an expedition back to the castle, where they found the professor's body and confirmed our stories. The media did not seem to believe it, but we knew what happened. We had a funeral for the professor. Many attended. Eventually, we were back in our house. I got more chickens and another sheep named Cherry in memory of Sherry. My son asked again about Jessica. He began to play with her and come more out of his shy shell. Life was finally coming back to normal. This is where I found the dead mother. Hey, more whimpering? Huh? Another pup! My goodness, the mother had two pups! I didn't see this one here at first. He must have been Heidi. He looks so weak and so hungry. I can't believe he's still alive. We must take him back immediately. Dad, I found another wolf pup! Oh no, not again. Kyle? Dad, this one was from the same mother. How do you know? Because I went to show Jessica the cave and we found it hiding. I didn't see it before. It must be Charcoal's brother. Dad, can I- Hold on, I know what you're going to ask. You want to keep it. Hmm. Maybe Charcoal won't seem gone after all. Kyle? <sighs> all right. You may keep the wolf. Thanks, Dad. I'll name him Cole, because he's the brother of Charcoal. <laughs> it's like having Charcoal back. Indeed it is, Kyle. Indeed it is. Indeed it is.